I still have a plate of meat. So I might be, you know, munching here and there. Uh, it looks so good. Finishing it up, so we'll probably have to do something different for dinner. Unless I'm still full. We'll see. About three o'clock my time. Where was I? Ah, right, sorry. Tell to you, treasure that brings you out this way. Hmm, if woman will also bid you to assist me, well, far be it for me to return down a helping hand. I've been tasked with the restoration of this sculpture. Five years of neglect has not been kind, at the least. Fortunately, I just the thing for it. Rather, those deep eyes have it. If you could slay three and bring me the bristles, I would be in your debt. There you are. Have you the whistles? Ah! Feel how close that is? That is why they're perfect scrubbing the suit from the staff. Beautiful, isn't it? The spitting image of Haldrath, first of the Azure Dragoons and one of Ishgar's founding fathers. A symbol of everything the Javanians despise, which is why they have taken to Smith searing it with dragonfire every time they pass by. But no longer will they suffer this desecration of our nation's hero. Soon this statue will be as it once was, a proud shining testament to the determination of Ishgard and a message of the heretics that we have returned. The work may be hard and the conditions harsh, but as a proud Ishgardian, I could ask for no greater honor. Oh, you four falcons nests. If so, I have a favor ask. There, there's this knight, uh, Sir. Is, Sir, Isidor, 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 something like that. Uh, stationed at the anvil in the west of here. She always treated me with kindness and respect more than I deserve, to be honest. Any road, while she was away, she came around through patrol, and I think she may have left a package behind. It was a bit of a detour, but would you mind returning it to her? My thanks to you, my friend.
<laughs> I mean, it's not up this way. I might be making this too difficult for myself. Maybe I needed to go the other way around. Yeah, yeah, probably did. What's that, a package? I haven't the fuck is what you're talking about. Confound it, that fool of a... What a waste. It was a gift, Avenger. Someone slave his day and night without what God to his own well being. At the very least, he ought to try to eat better. Why not simply give it to him? By the fury, have you no sense of to call him? A highborn knight cannot be favoring a lowborn mason in such a manner. Nevertheless, I appreciate your concern, as well as your willingness to assist there, Mott. May your journey back to Falcon's Nest be safe and swift. Give, give my regards to Sir Redwald. Must applaud your initiative, Master Winsmall. Uh, Voss tells me you have been quite busy. <clears throat> Alas, we have not the time to thank you properly. I have a task of which you would commit all able-bodied men and women, you and Lord Atoral included. I should have done the thing. Anyways. In times such as these, uh, Sir Edward is glad to have veterans like you for whom he needs to Calm as ever, even though we must uh, surely sense the gravity of the situation. A veteran through and through, just as Lord Drillmont said. Good. Good, we have lost contact with the reconnaissance party uh, sent north to Ribsbeat in search of the heretic's hideaway. Whether they are attacked or are met with some other misfortune, we know not. But regardless of the cause, we must act quickly, for this is a harsh, unforgiving land which can claim, and has claimed, the lives of many men. To ensure we find our missing knights as quickly as possible, I have assigned each party a different area to search. You and Lord Ortorio will be working together. Seek them out when you are ready to part, and good luck. It seems we've been assigned the area near Camp River Meet, Master Winsmall. Unless you are unaware, the camp is one of our, of many of our knights have were forced to abandon when we withdrew from, <laughs> from the Curthus Western Highlands, when many sacrifices made in the wake of the calamity. It would not surprise me if our knights took shelter there. There is but one way to find out, though. Let us be off. Winsby, don't go away. Come back. Come back. Maybe for an hour.
Nevertheless, Kemp rivers me. <clears throat> or what remains of it. I see no way to descend the cliff safely from here. Should we, f should we fall? The beast below would make short work of us. Come on. I know a path through the riverbed below, east of the Black Iron Beach. Here's how you can safely get down there. The reconnaissance parties came this way. I see no sign of it. Still, it is possible that the recent storms have obscured their trail, or that they took an alternate route to Camp Rivermeet. Until we investigate the camp itself, we cannot be certain. We must press on. This game looks so scrawny. Are you all right? I heard sounds of a struggle. Take, take the fury. I thought no one would come. Three heretics slain and one night saved. Just like that. You certainly live up to your repu reputation, Master Windsmore. What happened here, sir? Is there no one else? We were caught in a furious blizzard north of here, my lord. <coughs> Not to but sir white all around until we saw, saw shapes moving towards us, running towards us, with naked steel in their hands. I cut down a few of the bastards who came close, but the others, there was shouting and screaming. After a while, I could only hear unfamiliar voices. I found my way to the camp, hoping to hide while the storm passed. But the heretics tracked you here. I, <coughs> My lord, the heretics' hideaway lies somewhere to the north. We must move quickly before the snows bury all traces of the passing. Oh, my brothers, we, mu we must <coughs> have faith, sir. Justice will be done. But, sir, first we must see to your safety. He has the right of it, Master Winsborough. Whatever remains of the heretic's trail is gone with the next snowfall. But we cannot very well leave our friend here. I will see him to Falcons and gather reinforcements. 
In the meantime, I would have you search the area to the north of the camp for signs of the attack. Should you p pick up the heretic's trail, do not wait for me. Follow it back to the lair forthwith, making sure to leave, leave me some clear footprints. I realize this plan may place you in considerable danger, but I see no alternative. Rest assured, we will not be far behind. And Eskers, thank you. Ah, I can't jump down from here. Boo. There we are. And jump down from there. Time for an instant studied. Let's continue to the north. Let's just say this. I, I'm just like damaging him really for no reason because technically for this quest, we just need to follow him. Welcome back.
Looking for me, I presume. Ah, the child who glimpsed the truth. No, it cannot be. He cameth unto me, as didst thou. Alike in gifts, yet set upon different paths. He speaks true, warrior of light. Like you, I have been blessed with the echo. The visions terrified me at first. They came without warning. I wondered what I had done to deserve them. But I had no time to ponder such things once the calamity came. The land turned against us, and in a matter of hours, Falcon's Nest was buried under ten fulms of ice and snow. We had no choice but to flee for Ishgard. We came to the wall, and while we searched for a way through, there was an avalanche. And then I was alone. So I set forth for Dravania. I knew full well what might happen where I found, but I could not survive on my own. I was found, of course, and not by a mere dragon, but by the great worm Hreisvalga. And it was then that I knew why I had been given this gift, for with it I heard his voice and saw the truth through his eyes. I was chosen to deliver this revelation to the people, to bring dragon and man together as they once were and should ever be. It's supposed to be like that. You have to believe me. It was beyond my control. Children taught to fear the skies, who saw their loved ones slaughtered. Yet the Dravanians, though they know where the fault truly lies, fell upon them with such fury. Men die, and their children forget. But we are everlasting. To us, then is as now. Thou canst not comprehend the violation, the outrage, the fury. I will make this bright. I am neither a saint nor a savior, just another sinner. Yet I will not forsake this cause. I cannot. I will see this cycle broken and peace restored. I... We can do naught else, for we are now as one. Master Winsmore, praise Helona you're alive. We came as swiftly as we could, but I see we were too late.
So they were lurking in the cellar of this farmhouse. It is a pity Lady Icehart escaped, but we must not let that distract us from our accomplishment. We have them on the run. We have dealt our foes a telling blow this day, my friend, and I shall see that our, your efforts are recognized. All right, a quick pause here. I need to refresh my beverage. It's super quick. We failed. We're fine. Everything's fine here. How are you? They told you super quick. Establishing our post is so remote to location could not have been easy. Tenacious devils. The knights have, have matters here well in hand. Let us return to Falcon's Nest and share our discoveries with Sir Ledroll. Come. <laughs> Ten seconds to spare. <laughs> After tra tracking. <laughs> Here it takes uh, across bombs of ice and snow. I would say I'll do a few hours hours rest next to a warm fire. Skill speed. I don't really need skill speed as a when I'm casting spells. Lord Autorial. Uh, Master Windsmall, full glad that I see you both hale and healthy. What news? You mean to say you hunted the heretics down on your own and slew them before reinforcements could arrive? By the fury. I believe we have made great strides toward purging this land of heretics, and I mean to say as much as I deliver my report to my father in the Holy See. As will I, Lord Altorel. Altorel. The Toriel, whatever his name is. Artie. Lord Artie. We just call him Lord Artie. It's going to be in here. Fine. May it serve to remind us superiors what houses Derendere and Fortalm can... What... Remind us superiors what houses Derendere... And for Tong could achieve through continued cooperation. Indeed, I trust you and your knights are content to handle the rest. We most certainly are, my lord. During your not your short time with us, you and Master Winsmall have accomplished far more than I had thought possible. I cannot, in good conscience, impose upon you any longer. Pray return to Ishgard with my thanks, as you wish, sir. Sir Redvold, we will thank. You. We thank you for your hospitality. All right. Oh, 
Rats not open? No. That is sad, but that's all right. Why do I take a choker port, uh, a porter for this? Simple. Because I'm not going back to Fort Hall Manor. Because oh. this was just one of the two that circle around to, to this. So I need to go to the airship landing, which is... The Anatherium Escalusion. By the way, I did mention that I'm also a uh, uh, astrologer. Sadly, my astrologer is 32. That's going to be an offline thing to kind of uh, get, catch it up with my red mate. Uh, and then probably do a little bouncing back and forth or something. Anyways, back to it. I'm going completely in the wrong direction. I'm going to go this way. There's a millennium. Are you ready to depart, sir? The airship bound for Camp Cloud Top will be leaving shortly. of clouds. I think we can fly here. No. And upon an airship conceived within the fecund mind of Sid Garland, renegade prodigy of Garlem Old, who had come to call Eorzea home. To the heavens, where isles of earth and stone floated as clouds, a frontier the knights of Ishgard had scarce begun to explore. To a fledgling outpost within the sea of clouds, where careworn scouts ever scanned the skies for winged shadows, he came. This introduction to the new areas, I, a new area, is one of my favorite parts of Heaven Ford. Mainly because I love this narration that Count Edmund de Fortin gives every single time. Uh, and his voice is just so good. I just, I just love it. Awfully cold up here, I mean. Yeah, up here, I mean... Cortes may be blessed with the warmest weather in the world. Well, but compared to this, this is absolutely, positively balmy. And of course, uh, here is wholly unperturbed. We don't have to maintain the strong, silent persona all the time, you know. Never mind, we need to find Lady Lanonette. She is in charge of the garrison here. Oh, and when you find her, just... Just follow my lead. Yes? Excellent. This is my... Um, 
<laughs> this is my impression <laughs> of Evelyn. I know I'm pronouncing that his name wrong, but I'm still going to call him Evelyn. Hey, what do you know? There's an Aetherite crystal. What do you do with an Aetherite crystal? You tune to it. You can return to the sea of cloud, to the camp cloud top at any time. I need to go down there. I think I need to come back over here. Oh, hey, choke boat keep. You know what that means? Get the fly path. Get the fly path. No. Yes, that bat creature just meowed. Because <laughs> it's a gaily cat. Master Whitsmall, welcome! I am Sir, Sir Lynette de Hallenelt. Mount. Commander of the forces stationed here at, at Kent Cloudtop. Strange though it may sound, I have long dreamed of meeting you. I am in your debt, you see, and sh shall ever remain so. Were it not for you, my younger brother, Fransal, so would have been executed upon the f word of the false inquisitor. Alas, a knight must go, go through, go where duty demands, and thus am I un, been unable to seek you out. But by the grace of Helonia, I've been granted an opportunity to thank my brother's savior in person and to call upon his generous aids. Besides, truly, I know not what I have done to deserve this double blessing. Ahem, tis a pleasure to see you again, Lady Lynette. Uh, you cut an elegant figure, as always, is still clad of rose, equally at home on the battlefield as in the ballroom. Lord Emmeline, if it is not too much to ask, <laughs> Lord Emmeline, if it is not too much to ask, I should be grateful if you would allow me to finish speaking with Master Winsmall. <laughs> Camp Cloudtop is was established to provide early warning of impending Giovanni incursions. The high elevation afforded by the floating isles makes it makes it ideal for this purpose. Naturally, it also makes us a ready target for attack. We are not defenseless, however. The Protector, our largest and most advanced airship, is compatible and capable of downing all but the mightiest dragons. Alas, as you may have noticed, it is currently undergoing repair. That is what is worse, our efforts have been hampered by an in indigenous beast tribe known as the Vanu Vanu, with whom, you whom we have several skirmishes already. No beastman is a match for a man of Ishgard. Bring me a bird man and I'll show, you a th show him a thing or two. <sighs> I fear much and more may be asked of you in these day days to come, Master Winsmore. <laughs> Hello, Lynette! As much as you'll try to flirting, it's not getting through. Alright. Lenny, Annette. 
Uh, this lady here is at the light. I understand Count Ament's intentions. I would rather not waste valuable time ensuring that the young lord doesn't get trampled underfoot. True, it is entirely possible that he may learn something from this experience, but if I, if left to his own devices, I think it far more likely that he will make a mess of things. Tell him, tell him I would like him to keep watch for Jervanian outflyers. Then, when you have a moment to speak with his manservice and primate, make it clear that he, it is his responsibility to keep Emelim on from shirking his duty. Hmm, a request from Lanette? Lanianette? Leonette? Nana? Hey, anyone in case. Figure out the names. <laughs> Why didn't she she think to ask me in person? Sure, she must see me standing here for but a few yarns away. Oh, never mind. What is it? Mission in Paradigm Importance. Keep watch for Giovanni and Outflyers. A mission? A, a, a mission? Yes, yes, of course. That's why I'm here. I shall do as my lady asks. Uh, all right. Uh, Mr. Winswell, I do believe it. I, oh, ah, Mr. Winswell, I do not believe it properly introduced. My name is Honoré, and I serve with the pleasure of Lord Emmeline. Lady Lynette would have me accompany Lord Emmeline on his mission. Ah, I understand completely. I will do my utmost to keep him out of harm's way. Alright, we got rid of them. <laughs> so, what do you actually need? <laughs> well, you have another house, mayhap I, I would not feel obligated to go through such lengths to preserve the safety and dignity. In any case, I appreciate you speaking speaking to him for me. It would seem he actually listens to you, at least more than others. Well, mayhap you are more skilled at this than most. I suspect you have a, you have had to humor your fair share of difficult men before. Honestly, I'm not sure. I I haven't figured too much about uh, Essigos, like. Elagos. Elagos is a handsome uh, gay Rogan and man. And uh, headcanon wise, he uh, has developed a relationship with the Grand Storm Admiral um, of the Maelstrom. He is also a part of the Maelstrom, but I'm just assuming Merwib uh, sees their uh, loving and relationship and uh, has appropriate assigned it so that um, the two don't have like it's all copacetic <laughs> all good and, and everything but as it goes as it goes um, he hasn't really found a bow uh, or, or, or a girl that he might be interested in it's just kind of like he's just adventuring He's just, like, all about adventuring and being nice to people because none of my characters are nice and evil. Why? Because that's the way I am. I don't know. The way it is. Oh, I should have just gone for the gold. Keep actually picking up gear. I don't need to pick up the gear because I'm not actually doing it. Except for the healing stuff. The healing stuff I'm keeping because I do have a healer. I'm trying to level. I need to catch up to level 50. Now that Emmeline is out of, out of harm's way, we are free to discuss matters of actual importance, such as our struggles with the Vanu Vanu. We first encountered the Vanu several years ago when the we had just begun to explore the Sea of Clouds. After an exchange of pleasantries and gifts, we received permission to construct a permanent lookout post. 
There was peace between our peoples for half a year until suddenly, for reasons unknown, our ad their attitudes towards us changed. They began to attack our foraging parties without provocation, forcing us to rely more heavily on supplies floating from Ishgard. But words are su no substitute for first-hand experience. Go and see Sir Morel. She could use some assistance. Yay, lag. Can't even do anything. Oh, there we are. I believe she's up here. She is into the right place. Mr. Winsmall, I presume. Lady Lena told me you were were coming. I hear hear tell you've never faced Devana before. Well, Spend enough time in patrol, and you're sure to cross paths with them eventually. These birdmen are native to the Floating Isles. I say birdmen, but they're not like at all like the Ixal. Unless the Ixal's mother's mother was a gigas. Here, let me mark several locations on your map. If you discover any Vano in the area, kill or drive them away. I'm getting a lot of lag. I will tell you this. When you have lag in Final Fantasy XIV, it's bad. <laughs> sometimes you can get through, through it. Sometimes it's, it's good enough that it's just like moments. But right now, I'm just like... Yeah. That's right, I can't fly.
Look, chocobos are very much like, uh... Chocobos are more like ostriches. But also, because of gate mechanics, I'm not allowed to fly at all in this area, unless it's on Chocobo Porter. Heal yourself from a muddy struggle. I guess I know Bono would lady anyway. Finish your patrol. Anything to report? Yeah, we had a couple sightings of Bonner Bonner. Take care of him. Huh? Huh? Maybe it was too much to hope for a day without a skirmish. At least I can take solace in the fact that Haloni has blessed us with a mighty ally. Mm -hmm. Check something here over here. At time when your download's awful, but your upload is fine. Anyways, where were they? In our next quest. Expecting your recent clashes with the Vanu, uh, I cannot have a escaped our notice that things have, uh, are rather peaceful to the detriment of our garrison's discipline. Despite being built on a, as an observation post, we have yet to record a single intrusion by the Horde. 
This is why, as far as anyone was concerned, Camp Cloudtop is a backwater for no, no significance. And of course, the pride of our camp, the vaunted protector, is in perpetual need of state need of repair. So, even were the Holy See to come under Germanian attack, we would be unable to fly to their aid. Simply put, Master Winsball, this is where ambitions comes to die. If you haven't aspirations for advancement, you'll be right at home. However, I would like to think that enthusiasm can be can be just as contagious as apathy. If you'll indulge me, I would have you seek out the sentries and stoke their fighting spirits. Psych them up, I'd say. In other words, you you see emote on sentries. <laughs> Can I jump off? Is it an attack? What should we do? What should we do? You had me fooled there for a moment. Oh boy. An amusing jest. I'll be a tad cruel. Surely you must realize how unsuited I am for a monotony of mere sentry duty. Yet, still you tempt me with a promise of excitement. No, this won't do. This won't do at all. Lady Lynette will give me a grand mission as befits my station. Sir, wait! Well, oh, that backfired. Should we see me psych him up? Be gods, where did that come from? Fine, if you insist, I shall take an effort to be more alert. But really, you fail to see the point. There are a hundred moms from the front lines. Which is just the way I like it. Thank you very much. Is, that? is it the horde? By the fury, whatever pos possessed you to do that? Moik, Moik, we're not. After the shock you just gave me, I doubt I'll fall for fall asleep for a fortnight.
Many thanks, Master Windsmall. Already I see a change in our sentry's behavior. Beg your pardon? Lord Emmeline said what? Ha! Well, I have no doubt that Lady Lynette will do her utmost to oblige him. I'm going to get many. I'm going to grab the quest. If Lord Emmeline is going to demand a more dangerous duty, then I expect Lady Lynette will uh, want you to accompany him. I you must might as well speak with her sooner than, rather than later. There's no use avoiding the inevitable. <laughs> These two girls are of like mind. Lord Emmeline just needs to stay out of the way. It's the best thing he can do. Master Winsmall, Lord Edmund just informed me that there was that mere sentry duties beneath him. I understand you. We have you to thank for this epiphany. Well, there's nothing for it, for it to give him something more demanding than we count on you to keep him safe. Excellent. We're in constant need of fresh water in Camp, camp Club Top, as there's no underground sources we can tap for the wells. However, there is a unique variety of crystal we may we have recently discovered which may enable us to obtain water through other means. These spring crystals can be found in Vosian Saren to the east here. I would have you and Emmeline uh, bring us bring one back for us. You may have to contend with the feral beasts which populate the lakes, not to mention Vano scouts ranging from their nearby settlement. Of course, the all pales in comparison of keeping the young lord entertained, but you have the doubtless Doubtless grown accustomed to that by now. All right, have fun walking the dog. You're welcome. I'm glad I can accompany somebody with my shenanigans. But you have grown uh, accustomed to that by now. Good luck and be safe. All right. Hmm. Lady Lynette told me this. Told you to tell me about my mission once again. I didn't know a minute better. I swear she's avoiding me. Anyway, what is it? A vital mission is success of which the very survival of the Camp Cloudtops rest. The procurement of potable water. <laughs> Finally, it's about time she entrusted me with a mission of real import. Right then. Let's go. Let's go! Anyways. <sighs> Might actually have to like make some coffee before D and D tonight. So this is Vor Sion Seren of, of legend, and nary a vanu in sight. How disappointing. I could do with some sport. I know, why don't you and I make it a competition? Whoever finds the superior specimen wins. Alright shall judge our entries on, on size, purity, and say, aesthetic sensibilities. Let us begin at once.
This water crystal does not appear to exhibit the properties described by Lady Linnet. Perhaps you should inspect another. No boy, no. Crystal appears to be a secret in a steady stream of water. Perhaps is spring crystal Lady Lynette seeks. Ah, oh, Mr. Winsmore, have you brought your entry for the contest? Here is a spring crystal. My understanding of such things limited is limited, but can this truly be used to draw moisture from the air like water from a pump? Fascinating. Lord Emmeline has been gone for an awfully long time. Did you pretend to see him while you were searching for your crystal? Even he must realize the dangers of wandering too far in such a place. Mayhap I was worrying about nothing, but I must ask that you assist me in looking for him, Master Winsmore. We shall find him more quickly if we split up. Pray search the southeastern area of Vosian as swiftly as you are able and rendezvous with me in the north. Farewell and good luck. Survey the surrounding area for a time and see no sign of Emmeline. Yeah. Hey. 
think I'm gonna fight my way over. Why? Because I can. And also a little bit of extra XP. Oh, that's one fight. Master, my, my master wouldn't swallow. Uh, Lord Emelyn, Emelyn has been taken by the Vanu. They had my lord surrounded, a whole gang of them. Please, you must come quickly. Beauty calls. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to bang my headphones against the microphone. Vano must have taken him into that village. May have to present to their chieftain. I I will make haste to the Rose House and, and let Lady Lynette tell Lady Lynette what has happened. Yet yet by the time I return with aid, it may already be too late. Forgive me for asking, Master Winthwell, but would you spy an opportunity to sneak past the sentries and rescued Lord Emmeline in my absence, I beg that you take it. I know he is he can be a trifle presumptuous and sensitive and well insufferable, but he doesn't deserve this. Like, out of my way. By the fire. They're not going to eat me, are you? That's all the person you.
Oh, it's totally unpleasant. <laughs> I'm the lofty. Come on, Emelyn. Come on. Ah. He's not hip to be square. Help has arrived, that's a ghost. Bush font, is that you? Keep Evelyn safe, that's a ghost. We will hold them off. What's Horse Font doing up in the sea of clouds? Very quickly. Vondo roils like blackest storm clouds. Offer Netherlands to the white. Cloud sea swells and he comes. Bismarck, Lord of the Mists! A flying whale? By the fury, it's a primal! We must away.
did. The gods only knew but what might have happened had we not been around to save you. No need for thanks, though. It's not as if we hadn't done the same. For, you've done the same for us for a few previous occasions. All right, more than a few. It was a blind chance that brought me t together in this case. At this time, in case you were wondering, the Holy See has petitioned the Hind Works for assistance with its, uh, with this creation of theirs, the Protector. Apparently, they just can't seem to get her flying. Anyway, I came to Camp Clog Top to cast an eye over the ship, only to learn that you had arrived some few days before with the Nishgardian Lordling in tow. Small world, I thought, just as a, as said Lordling, Med Service skittered into view, babbling about his master being captured and you risking all to rescue him. And the rest, as they say, is history. Right, well, I hate to cut short our reunion, but I'm here on business after all. The boys are already hard at work. Don't worry, old friend. We'll speak again soon. Very well, I admit, I am an incredibly harrowing experience. I could very well have died, you know. Me? Dead? On the other hand, by risking life and limb in the line of duty, I did succeed in uncovering the existence of a new primal. And that old boy is no small feat. I have made a historic discovery. A, a fact even Lady Lynette will have no choice but to acknowledge. Yes, I had rather looking forward to basking in the sunshine of her praise. Speak of which, is it in time we made our triumphant return? I am so, so sorry. <laughs> Why is Helone? I feared the worst. What happened out there? A primal? Are you sure? Yet, now that I think of it, this Bismarck is reminiscent of the white, white whale of the Vanu legend. A massive creature said to swim in the sea of clouds. From what I have learned from from comparable, comparable summonings, the presence of the Vanu God would certainly explain the sudden change in their behavior towards the people of Camp Cloudtop. Ah, you mean to say that they had fallen under the Primal's influence? I recall reading of such things in documents provided by Master Alphino. Aren't you forgetting something important, Lady Lynette? A little recognition for the hour hour. A very few choice expression of gratitude, respect, admiration, and so on. Why, yes, you are right, of course. Master Windsmall deserves all that and more of him. And risked his life to rescue an esteemed... Such an esteemed personage. Well, if there is not else to discuss, I would depart for Ishgard forthwith... The Holy See and the Temple Knights must be informed of their new threat without delay. 
But of course, Master Winsmall, you have done more than enough here. Pray return to Ishgard with the Lord Horshafon and give our warmest regards to the Count. So that's it then. No more forays into enemy territory. Very well, I can see my services are no longer needed. Take care, Lady Lynette. May our next meeting take place under more felicitous circumstances. All's well that ends well, eh? If the airship landing then, we will speak with the, on the journey with home. Quick check on something. It says, speak with Horshafat in Ishgard. I think it's at the airship landing. So, well, I could just teleport to... Stage guard, the only thing is is that I don't get an automatic teleport to the, the airship landing, so I might as well just take the airship here to, to get to the airship landing, so I'm not like teleporting there, the teleporting to the earth and then running back to the thing. <laughs> follow follow their intended path instead of my shortcuts, I suppose. Horshapot would still be at his post in uh, uh, Camp Dragonhead, but apparently not. You'll be leaving us today, sir. I confess I've always, always been rather fond of airship travel. The chill, the wind upon your face, the warmth of the blood pumping in your veins from the excitement. I find the whole experience indescribably invigorating. It may happen simply the joy of having cheated death yet again. Ha <laughs> ha! In any event, I must make for the congregation and inform Sir Emmerich of all that has occurred. Emmeline should have returned to the manor by now. Why not go and see if he has recovered from his ordeal? in this quest. Master Winsmar, I would speak plain. From the first, I question your motives and your competence. Unjustly, I now realize. Rumors have a way of growing more fantastic as they spread, and quite frankly, those surroundings surrounding you beg a belief. But Hoshvon swore that all the stories were true. He championed your cause and begged Father to grant you patronage. And he duly listened because of all of his wisdom. He has never been able to say no to my dear half-brother, the legacy of my father's soul and discretion. Mother hated him, of course. Even on her deathbed, she refused to acknowledge him. But to be honest, he was not she was not alone in her feelings. But that is not the worst of it. At Camp River Me, when we came upon the wounded knight, I knew immediately that one of us would have to pursue the heretics alone an honorless task fraught with danger. And there you were, the savior of Eorzea and honored guest of House Fortom, my new comrade in arms, Horshfond's dear friend. I told myself it was to be a test, but part of me, part of me hoped that you would fail. Yet you attempted the task without a word of protest, nor any sign of fear, and you duly tracked the enemy down, faced him alone, and lived to tell the tale. 
Plainly, Hoshifant had the right of it all along, that I doubted your strength be speaks mine own weakness, and I will not doubt you again, Master Winsmore. On that, you have my word. It's you as it goes. <laughs> God, did he have to strike me so hard? Father, he, he did not approve of how I handled matters in Camp, Camp Cloudtop. I endangered the lives of others through my own <laughs> recklessness and incompetence. It's not easy, easy playing the hero, is it? No. Oh. Ah, Master Vinsmore, my lord, the Count has uh, much desires to speak with you regarding your time with Lord uh, Atterall and Lord Emmeline. If you would remain here for a moment. The hero returns. I cannot thank you enough for saving young Emanolaine's life. I, Manor. I, he told me everything. I've also received letters from both House the Mile and Durandere praising your conduct and that of House Fortom. You've won as much honor, my friend. My lord. What is it? Speak. Pray forgive the intrusion, my lord, but I, I bring grave tidings. Master Alfano and Mistress Tataru have been detained on suspicion of fermenting heresy. What? Explain. They... Uh, they were observed entering a tavern in the lower levels, on some half-dozen occasions. There, it is claimed, they made a number of inquiries. Inquiries which brought them into contact with certain... Um, elements. It was this which prompted a Knight of the Heavens War to demand that they be questioned. Sir Grino, my lord. Sir Grino is a brute. An exceedingly accomplished brute, but a brute nonetheless. Alas, he is also a son of House Zemayo. How quickly we forget the petty nature of men. I'd wager your friends are no more than pawns in another of my countrymen's games. Such is the way of things between the High Houses. Though we have won the hearts and minds of many of my countrymen, there are those who will not be swayed. Men who will dismiss your efforts and resent your successes, even as we celebrate them. Tis, tis like that one, one such member of House of Mile is manipulating Sir Grinnell, for he is not a man to dabble in politics of his own volition. He may generally believe your friends will be guilty, though I am quite certain his mass is no better. Yet the truth will avail us not if we cannot prove their innocence. You would do well to speak with Sir Emmerich in the Congregation of Knights Most Holy. He will know more of these charges.
It's been too long, Eskos. Would that it have that this visit come even happier circumstances. You've come to plead for Master Alfano and Mrs. Tataru, I, I take it? Word of the detainment reached us while I was delivering my report on the Vano Primal. Truly, I would not... I know not. Which is more ludicrous, these charges or the fe flying feathered whale? That's a Grenna... Grinot's accusations are baseless, I have no doubt. Refuting them will be difficult. However, however, as he is a knight of the Heaven's Ward, I speak of the personal guard of the Archbishop, the twelve finest knights in all of Ishgard, sworn to serve his eminence alone. Suffice it to say, their testimony is impeachable, and I have not the authority to challenge their actions. After all the signs have done, routing the heretics and defeating Shiva, helping us to defend the steps of fate and drive off the Dravadian horde, after proving themselves true allies on countless occasions, is there naught we can do? I fear there is but one path left to us. We must demand a trial by combat. But of course! In a trial by combat, sanctioned by the Inquisition, the victor's claim is judged truly regardless of the petitioner's standing. Under Irish Guardian law, a trial by combat pits the accuser against the accused. In that, this instance, Master Alfano and Mr. Shatar will be expected to face Sir Grenum and a second of his choosing, another knight of the Heaven's World, most like. Two of them? By the fury, that could hardly be considered fair. Master Alfano's magical talents will not be not have gone unnoticed, meaning that he will have no choice but to participate. Mr. Tataru, on the other hand, is quite obviously bereft of martial skill, and should be afforded the right to name a champion to fight in his stead. Lest you doubt, I am ready and willing to serve in this capacity, as I am sure Lord Horshafont, but all here present know that you are the most accomplished warrior among us, and may happen the realm at large. Then it is settled. I will visit Master Alfano at once and inform him of our intentions. Essegos, meet me at the tribunal when you are, have made ready, and tell them, my friend. So here's the thought. Because I was basically doing everything leveling as, as a red mage, that's magic. While Alfano is magic too, it's probably good that we do something that's a little more... Actually, I could probably just do Gunbreaker in this case. And mag basically tank for Alpha Dem. Tribunal is here. Oh, there's actually a uh thing. Let's do the tank and go with gunbreaker. Because the last time I did this, I did this on my mon uh, my main monk. So I, I, let's do something different. I just don't want to do mage, mage versus non-mage, non-mage. It's split it up a little bit. Listen carefully, as a ghost. When the trial begins, the petitioner will be asked to restate his charges, and the accused invited to respond. Then, in accordance with the law, they will be asked to restate their request by, as for a trial by combat. Once the high educator acknowledges Mrs. Tataru's right to name a champion, that is when you must make your entrance. Oh, I, I cannot wait to see the face on, on Sir Grenoble's face when he sees his true opponent. It will be priceless. More seriously, should you begin to lose heart, look at, look to me in the sands, and I should cheer so loud you will wonder how you would ever even contrive to doubt yourself. Now, are you ready? Horse of all, my one biggest supporter. We are gathered here today under the watchful gaze of the Fury to ascertain the guilt of two souls in a trial by combat. 
Petitioners, step forward. Sir Grino, for the benefit of all here present, I would ask you to repeat the charges which you have leveled against this man and this woman. I, Sir Grino de Zemile, brother of the Heaven's Ward, did bear witness to these two foreigners consorting with heretics. Let the accused step forward. Alfino Leveilleur, Tataru Taru, you have heard the charges leveled against you. Will you take up arms to refute Sir Grino's claim and thereby prove your innocence in the eyes of gods and men? I, Alfino Leveilleur, I'm innocent of this charge, and claim my right to trial by combat. I, Tataru Taru, am innocent of this charge. But I am no warrior and cannot fight. So, I claim the right to name a champion. To the old and the infirm, the young and the weak, this right we allow. Very well. Who will stand for this woman? Just as I was beginning to doubt the efficacy of the Ishgardian justice system. Come, my friend. Let us put an end to this mama's farce. Render unto us your judgment. Raise up the righteous and cast down the wicked.
they, they, I mean, we won! The fury has spoken. Alphano Levier, the Tauru Tauru, you are hereby acquitted of all charges. Blessed are we who receive her wisdom and see justice wrought by her divine judgment hand. Petitioners accused, go forth in peace. I've never seen you fight like that. Where did you learn those techniques? Vivid from an untimely device yet again. My thanks, as always. By the fury, what a splendid victory to see how you strove in the face of adverse adversity. Two brave young souls bound together by the poisoned bounds of camar camaraderie. Why, it stirred me to the very depths of my soul. Having been treated in such a rousing spectacle, it seems only right that I present you with a humble token of, of mine and admiration. Pray receive of me this chocobo whistle. With it, you can summon a black chocobo, fully trained and ready to fly. Magnificent, is she not? Strong yet sleek, eager, elegant yet eager. What say you, Essigos? Will you take her in your steed? Font. Chocobos are hit prohibited from the <laughs> prohibited in the, the Supreme Sacred Tribunal of Lonic Inquisitory Doctrine. Your steam must remain outside. Right. To fly in a given reason, you must first find and attune to all the local aether currents. In order to attune to some aether currents, we need to complete certain quests. However, some can be discovered via exploration. Creating your endeavor, you also obtain an aether compass, which will provide you with both the bearing and the distance to the aether nearest aether current upon use. Should you lose this compass, you may speak with Gilbarant, the Forgotten Knight, to obtain another. To review your progress, uh, stack travel from the main menu followed by Aether Currents. So, the Aether Current Compass is a key item. I can't use it here because there's none inside. Uh, also use that so that uh, I get my black. Motor Fun thinks you could do well with a well deserved rest. Black chocobos are all well and good, but the true reward of your efforts is the exoneration of your comrades. I shall be pleased upon the completion of certain minor formalities. Release upon certain. Minor formalities, which I mean to see to personally. In the meantime, pray return to Fort Tom Manor. The Count has done 
So all ready, and will doubtless be eager to discuss the day's events. Where am I? To be able to do this. I could just speed there, but I can't. But there's an Ethernet shard, so. Take me to the last resort. So, next time in the Western Highlands, look for Aetherite quests and stuff so I can start flying there. Look, Master, with the small shall I show you into the mana? I don't know why I said that. We will talk to him and then we'll end the day. I got some other things I want to prepare for before D&D uh, &D tonight. B&D specifically. Uh, Helene smiles on yet again, Master Windswall, guiding you to victory and setting your comrades free. I confess I did not fear for you. I did fear for your safety, which is to say, say I doubted your prowess, you understand. I merely know the strength of your opponents. Ahem, you do have a habit of exceeding my expectations. Besting too, the heavens ward while the city's elite looked on. By the fury, anyone who hasn't been paying attention to you will surely do so from now on. My lord! You've just received a message from the vault. His Eminence, the Archbishop, requests the presence of Master Winsmore. Invitation from the Archbishop? What an honor. The personal summons indeed a great honor, and given recent events, you would be wise not to delay. No, oh, Master Winsmore. We shall speak anon. A priest will be waiting for you outside the vault. Identify yourself to him, and he will escort you inside. Um, yeah, so I'm going to stop here. We will talk to the Archbishop next time, which will be next week, unless I decide to do another thing. In any case, that's it for the actual small win small. He will stay that way because I'm not going to purchase another Fantasia. But, uh, be back later for some Bears and Dragons. And don't forget... And find all of this over on the uh, all of the seal gaming stuff over on the Cubs Out Loud YouTube channel. That's youtube.com slash Cubs Out Loud. And while you're there, check out the actual podcast. You, you can go to our website, CubsOutloud.com, find merch at uh, Zazzle.com slash Cubs Out Loud, and or become a patron at patreon.com slash Cubs Out Loud. I keep forgetting to mention that on these things. Because with that support, we can continue doing it comes out loud and I will continue doing this. Yeah. Night kids. <laughs>